Kitty joins a game show. The host invites Kitty to play. There are three doors. Behind them are two goats and one car. Kitty picks a door. The host opens the door with a goat. The host asks Kitty if she wants to switch. Kitty wants the car. Do you think Kitty should switch? You might think switching or not switching gives the same chance for the car, but the real answer is counterintuitive. The answer is to switch. Switching gives you twice the chance. Why is that? Huh? To simplify the explanation, let's assume door one has the car. If Kitty chooses door one, the host opens door two or door three. The remaining door has a goat. If Kitty switches, she gets the goat. If she stays, she gets the car. If Kitty chooses door two, the host opens door three. The remaining door has the car. If Kitty switches, she gets the car. If she stays, she gets the goat. If Kitty chooses door three, the result is the same. Switching gets the car, not switching gets the goat. Do you see it now? When switching, as long as Kitty picked a go at the start, she will end up with the car. So switching gives a two thirds chance. When not switching, only picking the car at the start leads to winning the car. So staying gives a one third chance. This is the Monty Hall problem. It comes from the game show Let's Make a Deal and was famously explained by Marilyn Wa Savant. It looks like switching or not switching is just about personal preference, but there is actually a best choice.